My name's Neil Coulson, I'm the CEO of JK Corporation, Australia's leading manufacturer of recreational vehicles. We pride ourselves on the JK family and that's about our people and our business is all about our people, so safety is critical. We've committed to safety, we've made significant improvements, we're proud of that, I think uh, all of our employees are proud of that. But we're equally uh, clear that we're on a journey and that journey never ends, particularly with something like safety. Nathan, nice to meet you Nathan. Stephen. So Stephen, how long have you worked at JCO? I've worked at JCO for five years. So I started out as just a uh, aircon fitter on the line there and then I've worked my way up through to be a furniture fitter and then worked my way to a team leader position. So what we've been able to provide here is we've got the rolls of vinyl that go onto the caravans there. Uh, each roll is 150 kilos, so two men, you just couldn't realistically do yeah. something like that. So you'd have to use the vinyl lifter now. There you go save a lot of grease and that way I can just crank it up, cable's taking all the tension, yep. back feels fine. You know, saving the backs of your legs, the back of your spine, in your shoulders as well. Yep. And because you've got 17 units per day, you, you can't do it manually by yourself all day, every day. You'll just burn yourself out otherwise. And what difference has this made for you and your oh, team? Incredible difference, incredible difference. When I first started here, I told these guys last week, I had, a, uh, had to go in for an operation just due to having a hernia from doing too much of the manual lifting. Yep. Job like this has just taken that pressure off, you know. All the people in the team now, there's no added injury that's happened since any of this equipment's come in. So it's been a great, great saving course for us down here. The support network here is fantastic. That is, if you've got an idea, everyone will help get behind it and they'll all work towards that one goal. And then that way they can feed it back to me and they can let me know it was a great idea. We couldn't fit what you were thinking in, but we've then come back with this idea. How do you think of that? Because you're the one that's going to use it. Yep. So a lot of communication between the different sectors, yep. all coming for that one goal of safety. At the moment, we're, we're winning, yep. but we can keep winning, you know? We can keep moving that far. Do you think you far. ever stop improving safety? Oh, no way, no yep. way. The day we stop is the day somebody will get seriously An injured. Journey. That's right, yep. So, Peter, um, Tell us what, what happens here as part of your job. Yep, there's got a crane here, it's a suction crane, so it just sucks onto the side frame, lifts it up mechanically, so again, no lifting involved, no just lifting. sliding along a roller. Okay, because there'd be a bit of weight in those. Yeah, um, yeah, when I first started, they used to be done manually, you used to have to have like three or four guys to carry it. Okay. But now they've got the lifter, so compared to having three or four guys having to stop their work, just to hold it there, yeah. it's yeah. made it a lot easier. So now, now the, the the new equipment, the new lifting aids, and those sorts of things been introduced at Joko. Has it has it changed the job for you and your team? And how has it changed it? It's just taken away like the the risk of injury, basically. Right. Like there's no lifting, so there's no wrong way to do it. So you can't really hurt yourself. Yeah. Makes your whole day's work easier. Yeah. If your work's easier, then you seem to work a bit happier. Yeah. Better produce a better product. Really. Yeah. Maybe, what, have, what have been the changes in uh, how your teams complete their tasks and the sort of manual handling equipment we can see here? Well, for the last few years, we got this new cranes fitted. Um, beforehand, there was a lot of manual handling. Um, there was a high risk of injury. You know, time loss as well, that affects us a lot. So this must be a lot different to the way the way it was before. We used to have four people lifting these roofs to put them on the line. And what's, what does the team think about using this sort of uh, manual handling device? I actually, actually do refuse to lift them by hand. Okay. And I advise them to keep refusing because yep. we have people who, are in, who have into the back before. Yep. It must give you confidence that now you've got this machine, you're improving safety and uh, it raises improving... confidence, it raises the morale in people. They all want to come in and do the job. Yeah, yeah. You know, no one wants to come into the workplace 
and thinking, oh no, I'm going to injure myself today lifting weight. Yes. So I understand maybe you had an injury yeah. and, and the lifters have subsequently come in. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What happened was before we had the lifters, everything would be manual handle. Yep. Um, so myself and an operator, we were moving one of the roofs onto another bench. Yep. I felt a bit of a crack in my back. Yep. What's the difference now with the, the sort of roof lifters and things I don't have got. to lift it. Yeah. The machine does it for me. All I got to do is press a button. Yeah. So and it makes it makes it very easy for us. Stephen, what's the, the best part of your job here at Jacko? Oh, just seeing the dreams of people getting built. Just a huge sense of pride in me, you know, that I was able to build that van. I've set them up on their dream. They're off on their dream holiday, travelling around, and they were just having the time of their lives due to what we'd done in here in the factory. So it sounds like you're pretty passionate about oh, very what you're passionate. building. And... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is my career. I'm not going anywhere. I'm only a young guy now. You know, I've got another 40, 50 years of working life in front of me, so I stick with something that I know, that I like and that I love, and yeah. keep, keep kicking goals. Meeting with Javier, uh, Peter and Stephen today was just fantastic. The fact that some of their ideas and some of their thoughts have been realised and introduced and improve, are improving safety at JCO is a great credit to their commitment. And if uh, the demonstration of effort and the conversations I had today are any indication, communication is the number one priority to achieving improved safety and we have a very solid platform with great citizens like those guys who are doing a fantastic job communicating the safety message around JCO. I just wanted to uh, thank you guys for participating. Uh, Jaco was invited by WorkSafe to participate in this project. And uh, I sort of jumped at the opportunity because uh, I thought just getting out there and uh, in this fantastic disguise where nobody would pick me. I thought it was pretty good. It got me going for a Did while. You? <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a bit of a cheap moustache. I won't say anything about it. But um, getting out there and, uh, and, and finding out what was actually happening out there, how you guys felt about it, because I think as you appreciate, you know, we're pretty committed to safety here and, uh, but sometimes, you know, you, you miss out on what the guys are thinking out there, so you're three guys that are, that are going to be a big part of Jaco's future and uh, we've not only got the strong foundations of today, but we've got a fantastic opportunity going forward, so, well, thanks very much for your time, guys, awesome. and Thank much appreciate it. Thanks, Xavier. Good on you, Peter. Thanks, mate.